Washington College is a private, independent liberal arts college located on a 112-acre campus in Chestertown, Maryland, on the eastern shore. Maryland granted Washington College its charter in 1782. George Washington supported the founding of the college by consenting to have the college at Chester named in his honor. Through generous financial support and through service on the college's board of visitors and governors, Washington College is the 10th oldest college in the United States and was the first college chartered after American independence. The school became co-educational in 1891. History Washington College evolved from the Kent County Free School, an institution of more than 60 years standing in Chester Town, which by the college's founding date of 1782 had reached considerable strength and importance as a port city. George Washington consented to the fledgling college's use of his name, pledged the sum of 50 guineas to its establishment and extended his warm wishes for the lasting and extensive usefulness of the institution. He would later serve on Washington College's Board of Visitors and Governors, his only such involvement with an institution of higher learning during his lifetime. The college's first president, the Reverend William Smith, was a prominent figure in colonial affairs of letters and church and he had a wide acquaintance among the great men of colonial days including Benjamin Franklin, joining General Washington on the board of visitors and governors of the new college were such distinguished figures as U.S. Senator John Henry, Congressman Joshua Seney and His Excellency William Parker, Governor of Maryland. The Maryland Legislature granted its first college charter upon Washington College in May 1782. The following spring, on May 14, 1783, the college held its first commencement. President Smith had envisaged Washington College as the Eastern Shore campus of a public University of Maryland with St. John's College as its Western Shore counterpart, a proposal incorporated into the later institution's 1784 state charter. But the Maryland General Assembly reluctance to provide funding meant this was never more than a paper institution and the relationship ended with Smith's return to Philadelphia in 1789. With his election as first president of the United States, General Washington retired from the Board of Visitors and Governors and accepted the honorary degree of Doctor of Laws, which a delegation from Chestertown presented to him on June 24, 1789, in New York, then the seat of Congress. Since Washington's last visit to campus, Washington College has hosted five U.S. presidents. Franklin Delano Roosevelt, Harry S. Truman, Dwight Eisenhower, John F. Kennedy and George H. W. Bush. The original college building cornerstone was laid in May 1783. It opened in 1788 after selling off acreage and starting a lottery to fund the project. The hall was still incomplete by 1794 and was destroyed by a basement fire January 11, 1827. The oldest existing building, Middle Hall, was erected in 1844 on the site of the original college building. By 1860, Middle Hall was joined by East and West Halls. All three structures, known as the Hill Dorms, are on the Maryland Register of Historic Places, Academics, Student Body and Admissions for the 2011-2012 academic year, 56.6% of applicants were accepted to the college. Approximately 1,400 undergraduates and 100 graduate students attend Washington College, 47% from Maryland and the balance from 35 other states and 40 foreign nations. Approximately 8% of the American undergraduates are minority students and approximately 8% are international citizens. Approximately 5% of the college's student body is non-traditional. Approximately 80% of all students live in college residence halls. The rest commute either from off-campus housing or from home. Tuition for the 2012-2013 year is $39,208 and total expenses per annum are $48,768.
Approximately 85% of the student body receives some form of need-based financial aid or merit-based scholarship award. The cost of attendance has been rising in recent years, with the overall costs increasing by roughly $2,000 per year. Rankings in 2015 Washington College was ranked by the Princeton Review as 16th in the United States for colleges with the happiest students in 2015-16. In the 2011 edition of U.S. News & World Report Best Colleges, Washington College rose 19 positions to 93rd in the nation in the National Liberal Arts Colleges category. Honorary Societies Alpha Kappa Delta, Sociology Beta 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 Biology Society of Junior Fellows Undergraduate Research Colloquium Lambda Alpha Anthropology New Delta Alpha Dance Gamma Sigma Epsilon Chemistry Omicron Delta Epsilon Economics Omicron Delta Kappa Leadership Order of Omega Leadership within Greek Life Phi Alpha Theta History Phi Beta Kappa, Liberal Arts and Sciences. Phi Sigma Tau, Philosophy. Pi Delta Phi, French Studies. Pi Lambda Theta, Education. Pi Sigma Alpha, Political Science. Psi Chi, Psychology. Sigma Beta Delta, Business. Sigma Tau Delta, English. Sigma Xi, Science, Engineering, Literary Prizes. Each year, Washington College awards the nation's largest undergraduate literary prize. Since 1968, the Sophie Kerr Prize has been presented to one graduating senior who demonstrates the greatest literary promise. The endowment created by Sophie Kerr, a writer who published 23 novels and dozens of short stories, has provided more than $1.4 million in prize money to young writers. At a ceremony held at the Poets House in New York City on May 17, 2011, Lisa Jones was selected as the winner of the $61,000 Sophie Kerr Prize. In 2005, Washington College inaugurated another literary prize, the George Washington Book Prize, administered by the college's C.V. Star Center for the Study of the American Experience and awarded in partnership with the Gilda Lehrman Institute of American History and George Washington's Mount Vernon. The prize is awarded annually to the most significant new book about the founding era. At $50,000, the prize is one of the most generous book awards in the United States. Richard Beeman won the 2010 George Washington Book Prize for his work, Plain, Honest Men, The Making of the American Constitution. In 2015 the Rose O'Neill Literary House, Washington College's Center for Literature and the Literary Arts, established the Douglas Wallop Fellowship as a nationwide competition, with the first fellowship going to playwright Sherry Wilner. The award will be granted biennially to a playwright. Student life The school has over 90 student clubs. Freshmen, unless local, are required to live on campus. On-campus housing is available for approximately 900 students. Most students stay on campus over the weekend to participate in various social and recreational activities. Approximately 30% of students attend graduate school in the first year following graduation and approximately 45% do so within five years. Student Faculty Ratio 12 over 1 Average class size is 17. The school confers the degrees of Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Science, and Master of Arts. Sustainability initiatives are branded George Goes Green and include a green pledge, recycling, composting, an annual energy reduction competition, and use of biofuels. Washington College has also joined American College and University President's climate commitment with the campus carbon neutrality goal. The Center for Environment and Society oversees the Chesapeake Semester Program, four interdisciplinary courses that use the college's location in the Chesapeake Bay watershed to explore environmental issues and advocacy. Washington College is host to the Harwood series, which includes speeches by national politicians and media pundits.
In recent years, Haley Barber, Howard Dean, John McCain, James Carville, Cokie Roberts, Chris Matthews, Ellen Sowerbury, Donna Shalala, Eugene McCarthy, Cornel West Birch Bay, Gary Hart, Richard Luger, John F. Kennedy Jr., and Karl Rove have appeared on campus. Entertainers such as The Counting Crows, Bruce Hornsby, Eddie Arnold, Wayne Brady, Jason Mraz, DJ Cool, Guster, Nick Swardson, Jamie Kennedy, Jim Class Heroes and Larry Hagman have all appeared on campus in one capacity or another. Because of its reputation as a liberal arts school with creative writing being a strength, writers such as John Barth, Ray Bradbury, Bobby Ann Mason, Colin McCann, Neil Gaiman, Tim O'Brien, Juno Diaz, and Robert Pensky have given readings at the campus. Greek Life Greek Life at Washington College comprises four men's fraternities and three women's sororities. Fraternities are mainly housed on the quad and sororities line the a western shore housing. Men's fraternities Theta Chi Beta Eta, Kappa Alpha Order Beta Omega. Phi Delta Theta MD Gamma, Kappa Sigma Rho Micron Phi, Sororities Alpha Chi Omega Beta Pi, Alpha Rho Micron Pi Sigma Tau, Zeta Tau Alpha Gamma Beta, Traditions George Washington Birthday Ball, a college-wide dance where students, faculty, staff, alumni, and friends of the college come together to celebrate George Washington's birthday. The event usually takes place on, or around, the actual date of George Washington's birth. Formal dress is required for all in attendance. The all-campus picnic, a carnival held for the students and community members before the beginning of the academic year, war on the shore. The annual men's lacrosse game held in late spring between Washington College and Salisbury University, two of Maryland's Eastern Shore's undergraduate schools. Beginning in 2004, the winner of the game has been awarded the Charles B. Clark Cup, May Day. Started in 1968 by Professor Bennett Lamond of the English Department, who retired in 2004, he brought a class out onto the green, where they read poetry and drank wine. Later that night some of the students returned, and Washington College's May Day celebration was born. Since then, May Day has become a two-day festival on April 30th and May 1st, often involving public nudity by a percentage of the student body. The event draws many students as spectators, notable alumni and affiliates. These people served on the original board of visitors and governors, including George Washington, U.S. President. William Parker, signer of the Declaration of Independence, Governor of Maryland, and U.S. Representative. Samuel Chase, signer of the Declaration of Independence, U.S. Representative, and Associate Justice of the Supreme Court of the United States. John Henry, U.S. Senator. Joshua Senny, U.S. Representative. Robert Goldsborough, U.S. Representative. Joseph Nicholson, U.S. Representative. Notable alumni Robert Wright, Kent Free School, lawyer, veteran American Revolution, 12th Governor of Maryland. Thomas Vesey, class of 1795, politician, militia officer War of 1812, 24th Governor of Maryland. Ezekiel F. Chambers, class of 1805, lawyer, politician, militia captain War of 1812. John Emery, class of 1805, educator, namesake of Emory University. James Farrell Ricard, class of 1828, lawyer, judge, politician, S. Congress. Mary Adele France, class of 1905, established a junior college for women, St. Mary's Female Seminary. She also served as the institution's first president. She was also the fifth female student to graduate from Washington College. James M. Kane, class of 1910, journalist, screenwriter and novelist. Louis L. Goldstein, class of 1935, controller of Maryland, the state's longest-serving elected official. William O. Baker, class of 1935, president of Bell Labs.
Benjamin H. Van de Voort, class of 1938, highly decorated World War II paratrooper. John Wayne portrayed him in The Longest Day. Robert K. Crane, class of 1942, American biochemist, discoverer of sodium glucose co-transport. Ralph Snyderman, class of 1961, Chancellor Emeritus, Duke University and James B. Duke Professor of Medicine. Honorary degree recipients Patrick Bartholomew, Bertie, Ahern, former Tishik of Ireland. Congressman John Delaney, R. C. The Rahman, Group CEO of Qatar-based Doha Bank. Alonzo G. Decker, Jr., engineer who served as the chairman of the board of Black & Decker. Rev. John Andrews, D.D. Rev. J. Wilson Sutton, D.D. Athletics. Varsity Sports Washington College has competed in intercollegiate athletics since the 19th century. Its oldest current varsity sports are the baseball team, which dates back to at least the early 1870s, and the men's basketball team, which plays its 100th season in 2011-12. Men's teams are known as the Shore Men. Women's teams are known as the Shore Women. 14 of Washington College's 17 varsity teams compete in the Centennial Conference. The men's and women's rowing teams compete in the Mid-Atlantic Rowing Conference, while the sailing team competes in the Middle Atlantic Intercollegiate Sailing Association, a part of the Intercollegiate Sailing Association. The rowing and sailing teams host regattas on the Chester River and call the college's Truslow Boathouse and Lelia Heinsohn Boating Park home. The college's 17 varsity teams are Baseball, basketball, field hockey, lacrosse, rowing, sailing, soccer, softball, swimming, tennis, volleyball, lacrosse. The college is known athletically for its men's lacrosse team. It won the 1998 NCAA Division III National Championship and a share of the 1954 USILA Laurie Cox Division National Championship. The men's lacrosse team has participated in the NCAA Division II or III tournament 28 times since 1974 and the NCAA Division III championship game, eight times. Washington College men's lacrosse players have earned All-America honors 226 times. The men's lacrosse team, along with the women's lacrosse, men's and women's soccer, and field hockey teams, competes on Kibbler Field at Roy Kirkby, Jr. Stadium. Completed in 2006, the stadium was named one of the top 10 venues for collegiate lacrosse by Lacrosse Magazine. Tennis The college's men's tennis team emerged as a national power in the 1980s and won the 1994 and 1997 NCAA Division III national championships. It has competed in 18 NCAA Division III tournaments and won 20 conference championships since 1986. From 1985 until 2005, the team won 122 consecutive conference dual matches. Washington College men's tennis players have earned All-America honors 42 times, while their female counterparts have earned All-America honors 11 times. The women's tennis team competed in the 1992 NCAA Division III tournament. Both tennis teams play their home matches outdoors at the Ellen Bordley Shotland Tennis Center. During inclement weather, matches are played indoors at the Johnson Lifetime Fitness Center. Rowing Washington College crew has seen significant improvement in both men's and women's programs in recent years. The Shaw women are ranked nationally and finished sixth overall at the NCAA Division III Championships in Indianapolis, Indiana, 2014. John Leakley, a gold medalist in U's Rowing Masters National Championships, joined as head men's coach in 2007 and in 2014 the Washington College men's rowing team won its fourth championship in five years in the annual Mid-Atlantic Rowing Conference Championships. 
In 2014, nine Washington College rowers were named to the Mark All Conference team. The teams frequently compete against larger colleges. In the 2014 Navy Day Regatta, for example, the Shawmans 2-4s were the only two boats from non-Division I schools to finish in the top 17 spots in the race, taking 8th and 11th places. Sailing The sailing team competed in the ICSA co-ed national semi-finals in 2008, 2009, 2010, 2011, 2013, and advanced to the ICSA co-ed national championship finals in 2009. Swimming The swim teams have enjoyed a history of success, sending individual swimmers to the NCAA Division III championships. Female swimmers have earned All-America honors 21 times, while male swimmers have achieved that feat three times. Home swim meets are held inside Casey Swim Center. Baseball Late baseball players who played at Washington College have gone on to play in the major leagues, including two-time National League home run leader and four-time All-Star, Swish, Nicholson. At the Baseball Park, renovated in 2009, is the home of the baseball team. Basketball The men's basketball team has made four appearances in the NCAA Division III tournament, most recently in 1990 when it advanced to the national semi-finals. It also posted a perfect 20-0 record during the 1924-25 season. The men's and women's basketball teams and the women's volleyball team play their home games inside Kane Athletic Center. Field Hockey The field hockey team advanced to the NCAA Division III tournament in 1996 and 1997 while the men's soccer team played in the NCAA College Division Tournament in 1973. While men have been playing varsity sports at Washington College for well over a century, varsity opportunities for women have been a more recent development. The first varsity sports for women, rowing, tennis, and volleyball, were added in the mid-1970s and were followed by the additions of softball, lacrosse field hockey, and swimming by the mid-1980s. Varsity women's basketball began play during the 1993-94 season, while co-ed sailing was elevated to varsity status four years later. The women's soccer team is the college's newest varsity sport. It began play during the fall of 1998. Washington College fielded a varsity football team through 1950, a men's track and field team through 1982, and a men's cross-country team through 1989. The college has also previously sponsored varsity men's golf and varsity wrestling during its history. A number of famous athletes and coaches have spoken at Washington College, including Super Bowl-winning head coach Brian Billick. Hall of Fame third baseman Brooks Robinson and former Hall of Fame pitcher Tom Seaver. Club sports Recent club sports offerings at Washington College have included dance club, equestrian, lacrosse rugby, trap and skeet, wakeboard and water ski club.